heading out on another gold prospecting adventure. Appalachian Prospectors. to get a smaller dredge, something that was lighter weight for us to carry around and test different areas, because the four inch dredge is really heavy, even for two guys, and with the terrain, you gotta go down sometimes, it's, it's hard to get them in and out, as as you guys know that already have a dredge. Um, so, we went and got us a three inch, so we could get into places where the four can't go, because um, the nozzle and everything like that is much bigger, and this one's much smaller, this one's more versatile, and Jeff, Send this out from ProLine for us, and uh, we're going to assemble it here today for you, and then uh, do a review and everything on it when we get it up in the stream, which we'll be doing shortly. And it looks like it's very well built. I mean, we were checking over the welds. The welds are nice and thick, and they're nice and, you know, very nicely put together, nice and sturdy, sturdy craftsmanship. So, And the nice thing, too, uh, Jeff has everything well labeled on this like uh, rear frame, front frame, uh, rails, everything, you know. So it uh, looks like it's going to be uh, pretty simple to put together, pretty straightforward. And um, so we're, we're going to put it together, and in a couple of weeks, we will have it up on the river, and we will be dredging for some gold with it. So, yeah. so to all our subscribers and viewers and watchers and all that, stay tuned. Like we said, we'll be bringing you more content, and we'll do this review for you right out on the stream. And uh, we're going to get busy putting this thing together because we're excited. Yeah. We want to get back up on the stream and do more gold. We went out and we tested for some gold this year, and we know we're on good gold, and we're going to get right back on it. So stay tuned. That's right. Stay tuned. Bolts and everything are going to be. Yeah, everything's nice, clearly labeled. I mean, geez, foot valve, T bracket, give us a hold. <laughs> this is the top side, foot valve. Uh, John Boy? What? They didn't put any of the bolts in the box. Oh no. Unless they're already on the on the things. There's nothing in here. What's it say on the box? Hmm. Hmm. The box is empty. Hmm. Zero ten dash BK. Nothing in it. Well, that could cause a problem. Well, we got some bolts here. Here. I know there's some in the uh, rear frame. Uh, there's some bolts in there. Okay, yeah. Uh, All right, we we'll need the bolts for this. All right, well. It looks like mainly we're missing the bolts for the pontoons. Because we got the bolts. We got these bolts here. What size we got here? I think that's the half inch, ain't it?
right, the only thing we seem to be missing today is the bolts, the bolts for our pontoons. The box that we had was empty. I don't know if I said that earlier on the film, on the video. Operation instructions. It's already set up for you, Johnny. Right. It's very important to make sure there's water in your pump before starting the engine. Yeah. You want to run it dry first time. operation instructions in my truck yeah okay so we found them um, pontoon mounting bolts do not over tighten here they are we thought they were in the box but obviously obviously the box was just a spacing tool yeah so okay so we got it we got all the bar all thank the parts goodness. And bolts. thank goodness we're happy all right so we'll get them out of there we'll get that down in the pontoon big old flat washers there All right, we were going to make do with what we had. That's right. Does it say do not over tighten? Huh? Does it say do not over tighten? Yeah. Any washers up there, John? I don't need to. Uh, this pontoon here has to slide back a little bit. Like you said, as we were going along, we were going to find them. Yep. I guess they gave us extra bolts. Is that all water? No, we got two more down here. Okay. Okay. Getting in on the action with Jackie putting it all together here. You can't wait to get on the stream with this one. Oh, yeah. And see what we can find. Got the one two punch going this time around. That's much better. We got the uh, T bracket, which goes on the back, goes on the back of the uh, power jet. The power jet, yep, and that supports that. Get the plastic off of there. Oh, here's a little air thing too. He's got them stuff. In yeah. The so. And he's got another quick connect, connect over here for the. There we go. You know, just set that right there. She's coming together. That's pretty neat. Okay, now let me tighten everything up there. Now we need 7 16 on these, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're going to mount this motor up. 
Get that on. It's really coming around. It's starting to look like something now. Okay, she's ready to receive the motor. Look that way. Wait a minute. No, no it's got to go that way. It's gotta, this is the front. It's got to go. It's got to go this way here, like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's looking pretty good right there. Why such a tilt? Hang on. Give me those blue channel locks. This whole thing's got to be bent back. They bent this when they threw it. And they hit it. Look how badly this is bent. Yeah. Well, just I look at it. this side. Look at I it. I can see it. Yeah, that one's bent up. This one's bent. Well, it's just mostly that corner. Right. You know what we'll do? Let's tighten up the rest of them. Another bolt back on over there. Get this one in here. You got one for that one? Yeah. Okay, so we got the, uh, the motor mounted. Just got to tighten her down. And uh, it looks like everything's pretty good. The uh, base of it was a little bent from shipping, so we had to bend that back into place. But otherwise, she buckled up real sweet. Pretty simple. Okay, so we'll tighten her down, and then uh, what else are we gonna put on? I guess all the fittings for the uh, air compressor. Yeah, and, yeah, we um, got a fitting for the air compressor. And this thing here, should we have that facing downwards, John, or upwards, you think? Just that. Um, sideways, maybe? Yeah, we'll try it sideways. It's got the holes in it, they don't like that so much. Yeah. I like that welded construction in the sluice box. Yeah. And the manifold is bolted right to it. Punch plate, typical. Typical sluice box here. I'm gonna put this punch plate back into place. That's it. There we go. All right, the punch plate goes. It's all set. All I gotta do is put this other piece on. Ah, oh, boy, that plastic, that rubber is hot, hot, hot. Okay, punch plate goes right in place here. I guess this one goes right in here, right? Just like that. Pontoons are bolted on nice, nice rails. Okay, need a little white tape. Air compressor. Okay, so what goes on the top of this? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing threads in there, okay. Nope. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Threw me off at first. All right, so we got uh, like two more hoses to show you. Three, well, three, three hoses go onto your dredge. Your pump hose, which you just screw on, and uh, goes down to the manifold. You just screw those right on it's all really simplified i mean you can't put the hose somewhere else because you have three different size dimension hoses here and this is our uh our other hose which is the uh that's the foot valve the foot valve that's which, your water intake the water which, intake and that just slides off to your pump and then you tighten that up and then you got your last hose you got your nozzle Of course, this is your nozzle one. It should just go right into your end piece here where your clip is. It's a sure fit thing. Slide oh, right look at that. And that clip comes down. And that clip comes down. Sweet. Yeah, Proline makes a pretty nice looking dredge. And that's yeah. your nozzle there that you're all ready to go. So there you go. You got your pump hose going down your manifold. Your suction hose going into the manifold and the uh, foot valve going into the thing. That's your three hoses there. So we're pretty much all set up. We put it all together in probably, I don't know, 30 minutes. 
Something like that. 30, yeah. 35 minutes? Yeah, not long at all. Basic tools, half inch, nine sixteenths. I think that's all we needed. And a seven sixteenths. And a seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths uh, opener box, you know, a box and wrench. Yeah, we used ratchet wrenches because they're quick. And a uh, little Milwaukee uh, battery operated. It all went very well. Now Very we just got to get our asses to the stream. Yeah, that's it. Start dredging with this bad boy. I want to see how this baby works. Yeah, you'll be seeing us up there soon with this. Now, Proline makes a really nice dredge. I mean, they haven't changed the design much from, you know, it's been like this for 20 years or better. Maybe a few small changes, but. Yeah. Uh, Tried know, and true. One thing you want to do too, when you get a brand new motor, make sure you check the oil, make sure the oil level is full before you start it. And don't run it without water in your pump. Right, that's right. When you first start it up, you want to start it with water in your pump, otherwise you can burn your seal right out, and then the next thing you know, your pump's leaking. So, um, yeah, you don't want to do that. So, I guess... Um, I guess. The only thing we got left is the uh, the air for the yeah, compressor. Yeah, put on the air uh, air fittings on the compressor there, and uh, we'll be good to go, ready, ready to dive. And then you'll be seeing us on the river for sure. Yeah, and just tell them that it's a, a three inch with air. Yeah. So I mean, you know, for for a guy out there that wants a little unit and everything, this is perfect. You got your air. Smaller dredge, it's not as heavy, lightweight. Can't wait to try it out. Tell you what, let's get on that. Uh, let's each get on a side and lift it and see how heavy it is. Okay. Just want to see how heavy it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah. It's got a little weight to her, but yeah. it's still lighter than, uh, than the four inch. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess uh, that kind of wraps up this video, right? Yep. And uh, we will have this up on the uh, river, dredging for some gold in a couple of weeks. So uh, make sure you you follow us. Give us a follow. Tune in. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe, hit that bell, share, like, whatever you want to call it. And make sure you... Uh, comment on this video. Yeah, yeah. Give us your comments because we like to hear your comments. You know, you got any questions or... Yeah. You know, you want us to uh, review something and, uh, and we can get our hands on it or, you know, get it sent to us. We'll gladly do it for you. That's right. So, so, so it'll be Battle of the Dredges on the stream. Yeah. Battle of the Dredges this time. Yeah. So. And it's got a nice smaller nozzle. It's three inch. So yeah. that can get into them holes and them uh, rocks a little easier than the four inch can. You know, a lot of times the four inch gets hung up in the rock and... So this is going to be able to get us in some spots that we can't reach with the four inch. So yeah, that's the whole idea behind it. And yeah, uh, we could drag this one down and test anywhere with this one. Yeah. So, so, so I, I guess, guess that's it. That is it. Well, next time we will see you on, on the, the river. river.